whenever I look up in the night sky, I just kind of get this tingly feeling that I <laughs> really can't explain. Astronomy is uh, intuitively kind of fascinating to people, you know, wow, the universe, the stars, and the planets. Almost everybody can see that the star-filled sky, the view into the universe, the immensity of it all, is uh, influential on people. And it's sad that that is lost when people blanket the sky with light, and mostly they blanket carelessly. I really don't see any big reasons why the Jackson Hole community wouldn't embrace having dark sky certification for their town. So we get over two million tourists a year, and a lot of them come to see the dark skies out here, which are rapidly going away. And if we don't do something soon, we're not going to have the fantastic dark skies that so many people know us for. The community coalesces around the fact that, wow, we have an asset that a lot of others don't. We don't really need as bright light as we've always thought we do. One of the things that was important about the, the lighting project was it does help us save money. And so that makes sense. But right now, we really don't have a great idea about how many people even know about light pollution and know that it's a problem. So we've got a lot of work to do in just helping people understand what the issues are and how they can get involved. It gives a real sense of perspective and place in the universe. Without that, I don't think we're as human as we would be. This is not just about the night and stars, this is about forests, this is about wild rivers, this is about undisturbed beaches, clean air. It's been pretty stressful over the past couple of years trying to run Wyoming stargazing while working full time during the days. I think I can probably do a couple more years at the same rate I'm doing now before I get burned out.